So uh, over the last 10 years, we've started thinking a lot more about autism. And autism now affects one in 150 children in the United States and is on an exponentially growing curve. Uh, part of the increase is due to improved diagnosis, um, but that doesn't seem to account for all of the increase. So there's a lot of concern about how rapidly autism seems to be growing worldwide these days. One of the things that attracted us to work on autism is that there are several shared problems that we have been uh, trying to address with technology that look like they could be immediately helpful to people on the autism spectrum. For example, many people on the autism spectrum have difficulty reading and responding to social emotional signals in real life. Uh, they might be talking with you, totally good intentioned, sharing something exciting that's happening to them. All of a sudden you might look upset. They don't see that you look upset. They keep talking in a positive way. You might start to feel offended and more upset and they completely miss those cues. Uh, so the best intentioned interactions can backfire and, and uh, become quite unpleasant um, without them even being cued into what is malfunctioning in that interaction. Robots, computers, technology also makes people uh, very limited in what they can communicate emotionally through technology or directly to technology. So we're, as we try to enable computers to sense and respond better to people's emotions, we develop techniques that turn out to be ways to, um, decode, to encode and decode emotional information into algorithms. Autistic people tend to think very systematically about the whole social interaction and actually are useful in helping us to make those algorithms for technology. Uh, one of the ironies is we thought we would be building technology to help them initially. We're now finding that many of their insights are actually helping us build the technology better. So there's this wonderful partnership of uh, the autistic person's strengths being able to help us understand social emotional interaction and yet our technology um, embedded with those strengths being able to help them figure out how to do it in real time. So many of them can begin to systemize this in an offline way that helps us put it in computers, which can then help them to do it, help them to interact socially in an online real-time way. So one of the real pleasures has been finding out that autistic people have um, all of these skills that are actually really useful to the problems that we're facing, while the technology that we're developing has the potential to help several of them with the challenges they face in real-time social-emotional interaction.